Hey, we are Youth Day ready in celebration of June 16 Youth Day in South Africa. We are visiting Paradigm Education Center in the Phoenix community in Southgate that has been in this community since 2019. They offer an exceptional international curriculum and we're going to be chatting to them today. We'll also chat to a couple of learners and hear their thoughts as the youth of 2023. Let's go. Hi, I'm Lauren Anderson. I'm the principal of Paradigm Education Centre in Southgate, Phoenix. Uh, the school was founded in 2009, but we've been on our current premises since 2019. So we are first and foremost a Christian school. Everything that we do is biblically based and that includes the curriculum that we use. We currently have just over 200 learners, and that is from grade double R up to grade 10. And we are expecting our first grade 12 class in 2025. So the curriculum that we use is called Switched On Education. It is not a South African curriculum, it is an American curriculum, but more importantly, it's a Christian curriculum. Switched on education is predominantly a digital curriculum, which means that from grade three upwards, our learners are doing the application of their work online. Um, before that, from, from grade R up to grade two, they still work with a printed format of the curriculum. From grade three upwards, we have what we call blended learning, which means that every class has a qualified teacher in the classroom, teaching the content, there's a lot of board work and note taking and interactive activities that take place and once the concept has been grasped then only is the application of the work done on an online platform. Uh, further to classroom uh, academics, we also offer a wide range of extramural activities, uh, things like hockey, basketball, swimming, um, soccer, uh, and then obviously non-sporting activities like chess club, reading club, environmental club, public speaking and debating as well. Here at Paradigm Education Centre, being a Christian school, obviously we encourage kids to interact with each other um, through the fruits of the Spirit. So everything that we do, all our interactions are done through love, kindness, generosity, patience. Um, and all of that. So we do see that interactions between our learners, no matter their age, is very different to the interaction between learners at some of our other schools in the local community. Um, obviously children are children, so we can't always you know, get away from um, nasty words and, and things like that, but the way that we deal with it, we promote our kids to interact with each other, we feel is already putting us above other schools. Um, we, we like the feel of our school, um, there's a lot of laughter that happens here, it's a very happy place, um, there's a lot of interaction between various teachers and, and students, so they're not just confined to their classroom, um, our teachers are very involved in the learners' lives. And so we'll have some of our high school teachers that are doing extramural activities with our younger learners. Um, once a week we have praise and worship in, in our assembly time. And that's a beautiful time for the whole school to come together. Uh, not only are we glorifying God uh, across the age groups, but our younger learners are also learning from our older learners that it's okay. It is absolutely okay to be yourself to praise the Lord and to just be comfortable with who you are as an individual. All right, in celebration of Youth Day on the 16th of June, we are now chatting to grade eight learner Genesis um, from Paradigm Education Center. And she's gonna tell us more about some of her experiences as the youth of 2023. Genesis, what are some of your experiences as today's youth? I think in South Africa today we are much safer and we have we all have equal rights and and our human dignity is also equal and in its fair mm. in South Africa today. And what are maybe some of the challenges that you are experiencing as a 13 year old? There are no challenges mm -hmm. at this moment, but as I carry on on life, I'm sure I will. 
just one more question. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I always wanted to be the president okay. of South Africa. All right. But I'm really thinking it of being a lawyer. All right. Why do you want to do law? Because I like speaking and I'm really out there. Mm. You want to fight for justice. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you so much, Genesis. Thank you. Hey, listen, I tried my best to blend in with Paradigm Education Center. Got my Navy at least somewhere <laughs> blending in with the learners. So we have a grade 8, grade 9 and grade 10 learner with us. And we just basically want to explore some of, you know, the privileges that we have as the youth of 2023 in the 21st century that, you know, the previous youth did not have. Maybe what can you say we have that wasn't available uh, pre or rather before apartheid? A lot of, um, we have a lot of more freedom mm -hmm. and more equality. More freedom, more equality, definitely. We have a lot more opportunities such as jobs that the people back then didn't have. Mm, definitely. Um, I think we have a lot more educational opportunities and many different subjects and we have more choice. More choice. What do you guys think about politics? I love politics to be quite honest. Okay. But our like politics and stuff not as great, but I still love politics. Mm -hmm. much, yeah. And do you think that we should be involved? Because I actually noticed that quite a large number of youth are not voting, they're not active. Mm -hmm. And why do you think people are not voting, the youth specifically? Maybe they think that some other parties are just wrong and they don't understand what the mm -hmm. other parties are doing. It can mm -hmm. be that. Do you feel that our politicians are delivering right now in South Africa? Mm, not really. I have like a lot of disagreements with the politics sometimes. Like yeah. maybe maybe something. Mm, like you know corruption and mm -hmm. stuff with the with the president and mm -hmm. how our people don't agree and they keep on fighting. For example, like the EFF, mm -hmm. they keep fighting with the ANC mm. and we don't have equality and we have corruption and we don't have like fairness. All of them. Do you think it's possible to achieve fairness politically in South Africa? I think with our youth, we will be able to. With our youth, With we our youth. will be able yes. to. All right, thank you so much, guys. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.